It will be a killer and a chiller and a thriller when I get the gorilla in Manila. Come on, gorilla, we in Manila. <laughs> Congratulations, Paulie. You said the deck was stacked against you. It came as no great surprise that you were on the short end of the decision. Give us your thoughts. Hey, man, first of all, you got, how'd you guys score? You got Ringside, Harold Letterman had it seven rounds to five. I thought that was about right, but I thought it was competitive. Seven five me, right? Yes, Harold did have that. Thank you, man. At least some people got the score right. Listen, I don't know why Houston is booing me. You guys are a great fight town, man. I didn't have nothing wrong, nothing against Houston, man. It's a great fight town. You guys were a loud crowd. It ain't nothing against you guys, man, but I had to deal with a lot of politics, man. That was ridiculous. I knew I was going to have to deal with this. You know, you got guys like Raul Caiz. That's Golden Boy's goal for. I said it before, and, and he was. And he actually had the closest scorecard, man. I'm telling you, this state never gives a fair shake to anybody coming to this state to fight hometown fighters. It never happens. All the way back to okay. Paulie, assuming you don't get a rematch for a second. You know I ain't getting a rematch, man. This is boxing. Boxing is full of shit, man. I used to love assuming this sport. I used to love this sport, man. I cannot stand doing this. The only reason I do this is because it gives me a good payday. Boxing is full of shit. Paulie, assuming you don't get the rematch, you here have reestablished yourself on a world-class level. What would you want next? Listen, anything that comes my way. I mean, I'm just an opponent after losing the fight. One can go call out the winner of Marquez and Mayweather or the winner of another big fight. I don't have that luxury because I got robbed, so I'm on the short end of the stick. So I got to sit back and hope I get used as an opponent in somebody's hometown again. This is the bullshit I got to go through. Paulie, Paulie, congratulations on a tremendous performance and an excellent fight. It was a lot of fun to watch. Thank you, Juan uh, Houston. Congratulations. You guys are a great fight time. Juan Diaz, the warrior. You guys got a great hometown warrior. But I won this fight. I won this fight. All right, uh, Max, tough spot. Oh, no, 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 defeat me never again say that i'm going to be defeated never again make me the underdog until i'm about 50 years old right. then you might get me but i didn't dance i didn't dance for a reason i wanted to make him lose all his power i kept telling him he had no punch he couldn't hit he's swinging like a sissy he's missing let me see your box i hadn't started dancing yet you can't say my legs are gone you can't say i was tired because what happened i didn't dance from the second round on i stayed on the ropes when I stay on the ropes, you think I'm doing bad. But I want all boxers to put this in the page of boxing. Staying on the ropes is a beautiful thing with a heavyweight when you make him shoot his best shots and you know he's not hitting you. I would have gave George Solomon two rounds of steady punching because after that he was mad. Do you understand? I know you. You're going to come to fight, and I'm going to come to fight. It's going to be a great fight, but I know for a fact I'm going to knock you out. How are you going to knock me out with that big slap? Don't worry. I'm going to knock you out. It takes a puncher to knock Tyson Fury out. Not Don't worry out. about it, man. The cruiserweight drops you. You think I'm not going to drop you? I'm going to knock you out. You're a, you're a domestic level fighter. Who have you knocked Don't out? Don't worry, man. If you want to see him, man, it's time. He's... Listen, if you want to see him without, 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 without... Listen, who's that? Can you beat me? How are you going to beat me, Chubby? Chubby, how are you going to beat me? Chubby. The only thing you can beat is my left nut, man. You can suck on his left nut. Oh what? Oh what, Chubby? Listen, you're nothing. Listen, your brother's nothing. Oh shit, how's what? Who lives in the shit house, me or you, you fucking twat? Yeah. Listen. Don't worry about it. Whatever. Listen, listen, guys. Let's keep it in Manchester, yeah? I'm a bad boy, yeah? I am a bad boy! You're nothing, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am in Manchester, let, let, let's, let's, and how bad it is, yeah? Let's I'll piss on your shoes right now if you let me. Yeah, it's a public order, this, you get in trouble for that sort of you stuff. You guys ain't nothing. Sit down, sit down. You, you guys want to threaten people. No, you, you, you're barking up on the wrong tree, my friend. No, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Listen, shut the fuck up, Chubby. Chubby, you're a Chubby. What? And what, if I come out there, what are you going to do? How much you going to bet me you wouldn't? How much you going to bet you wouldn't? Huh? 
Well, well, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen, so don't think it's gonna happen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one God, and Muhammad's blessings and peace be upon him is his prophet. I dedicate this fight to my brother, Darrell Baum, who died. I'll be there to see you. I love you with all my heart. All praise be to my children. I love you. Oh, oh God, oh, man, what? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, amateur, professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox, I'm coming for you. Mike, is it frustrating to train like you did and then have no, this in seven I didn't or eight train seconds? For this fight. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's the never fight. been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike? Mike? All right, Steve. You guys could decipher that, and uh, we'll move on from here.